Tonight, a search for answers is underway after a deadly home explosion in Crescent Township. Surveillance video from a nearby business shows flames erupting from the roof of the home on Riverview Road just before 9 this morning. And as you can see from this drone video of the aftermath, the blast leveled the house. A man and woman inside were killed. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. This is a story we have been following all day. Tonight, Jennifer Barreso has been talking with people shaken by the tragedy. She joins us live. Jen. Yeah, Ken, that's right. Neighbors here are distraught. Now, the Allegheny County Fire Marshal is investigating how this happened and what happened here. A house was decimated and the couple who lived here killed the medical examiner's office identifying the victims, 87-year-old Helen Mitchell and 89-year-old David Mitchell Jr., her husband. Neighbors say they were the sweetest couple. They were kind and generous. Their daughter lived next door. I just felt the shake and I thought, did we have an earthquake? Dramatic surveillance video from Premier Pan captured the fireball the moment a home exploded in Crescent Township. The best way to describe it is like a sonic boom, a blast. Like I've never felt or anybody's felt before. My first reaction was to run outside. There were things flying through the air all over the place. I looked out outside. There was a giant flame and I could not see the house through there, which made me think that it was gone. Black smoke billowed into the sky. Fire crews rushed to the scene around 9 to find the home on Riverview Drive leveled and on fire. Investigators say the two people killed were inside. I actually feel guilty because like she prayed for me and I'm fine and she's not fine. Neighbors tell me the elderly couple's daughter lives next door and saw the explosion while bringing her grandson over to visit with her parents. A very significant explosion. You could feel it in your chest and you, know, you could definitely feel the explosion. Drone video shows the aftermath. Only the home's foundation remains. Debris is scattered everywhere, large chunks of it in trees. Mary lives next door. She agreed to speak with us, but she didn't want to show her face. Oh, we feel terrible. I mean, our neighbors are gone. The blast could be seen and felt in several communities up and down the Ohio River. So Wickley's police chief tells me there were reports of buildings shaking and windows rattling throughout the Quaker Valley area. State Rep Valerie Gatos surveyed the damage. She says the violent blast sent debris flying into the water. In all my years, I have never seen a scene like this, and it's just tremendously tragic. I'm hearing from both the firefighters and some of the, the individuals who are uh, work at the lock and dam that they're finding debris that had floated down the river. This explosion caused widespread damage to surrounding homes, windows blown out in neighbors' houses. Investigators say they found multiple propane tanks and an active private gas well on their property. The Allegheny County Fire Marshal, police and the ATF are investigating the blast. And so is the State Department of Environmental Protection, which oversees public and private wells. We looked at the state's oil and gas map and we didn't find a well listed for this address. Now the state pointing out that unlike gas from a utility company, natural gas from a private well may have little or no odor, alerting the homeowner that there may be a problem. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK-TV News.